What's going on, Quench Raiders? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at ICP Internet Computer. Been a while since we've talked about ICP, so plenty to talk about, especially since this whole recent amount has all been new. So what happens here and where do we go from now? So one of the big things, especially after this very big, long, drawn out downtrend where we've just kicked off our high, pulled back for several months, and then now finally seeing a little bit of upside. So specifically, the thing that we need to look at first is that after finding this bottom, very nice bottom, and especially a very nice long lower shadow here on this overall chart. And in fact, if we actually want to go ahead and look at the amount of upside, we're looking at buying pressure almost 15%. So almost 15% on this overall hammer candle pattern. And then especially after a rally run up and rejection of the 12 period exponential moving average over several attempts, finally breaking this with an extremely nice daily candle crushing through not only this 12 period EMA, but also the 26 period EMA, which as you can see, we have been riding this 12 period for several times, but the most recent resistance point besides that was the 26 as well. Now, typically one of the things we do look for when we do have very, very nice bullish candles, just like this one that we saw is that we do need to see follow through and continuation, which is exactly what we saw over the next following two days of candles, and especially after the week that did trail that. So after breaking, what happened is that we actually had a very nice smash through of this trend line. And typically that is when we find in weak trends that we actually do see a retracement and actually reclaiming this level instead of finding it as support since it was previous resistance, now pulling back and actually seeing that form as resistance, or excuse me, once again. So that is one of the reasons why this follow through and continuation is just so important and imperative. And if we look at the volume as well, we can see a very nice healthy amount of bullish volume coming in for these daily candles. And especially if we actually look at this candle that had the bearish amount, extremely, extremely small body on the candle. So just showing how powerless the overall bears were on this overall move. So this is exactly what we like to see in nice, strong moves. Now, the other good thing, too, that we like seeing in this type of pattern, especially after breaking through not just the 12, not just the 26, but also the 50 period EMA is now a rally and a back test, especially after we start getting a bullish cross and that confirmation of that move once again. So typically finding our trends where we set our high, pulling back, setting our higher low, and then also kicking off these exponential moving averages are exactly what we want to see. Obviously, being able to hold these levels as support is essential if we do want to see further upside, because otherwise, if we do put in a lower high, then we will be testing these support levels once again, which does increase the likelihood of actually setting a shorter term downtrend, proving that this was just a longer term lower high. So now zooming out a little bit over here on this daily chart, drawing a pretty good line just below the $11 mark. And essentially what we have is an extremely good confirmation of this level as a resistance. So looking left, this was a point of support as well as looking farther left, big point of daily support per prior to setting our trend high here. So an extremely relevant level coming in at 1084. And so that's why now after rejecting, seeing this pullback and confirmation of support on top of these exponential moving averages is an extremely good sign right now for this overall setup. Now, if we actually want to pull up a Fibonacci from the bottom of this move to the current high right now, what we do always love seeing and zooming in on this a little bit more is just being able to retain support on top of the 38.2. Right now, that does come in at 898. And especially if we do still maintain price levels on the current, we will be well above that, which is an extremely good sign for continuation to the upside. So even for example, even if we do spend another week or so consolidating in this overall level, as long as we don't dip, dip, excuse me, dip below this 38.2 at 898, then that's pretty much could be an extremely nice and good bullish sign for the bulls for continuation, especially after this nice establishment of an uptrend forming here, despite kicking off this resistance level. So that's going to be one of the strong things for the bulls right now. So kicking off this, establishing that longer term support, defending these exponential moving averages, confirming that longer term bullish cross, which does put the path of least resistance to the upside. Now, do you want to flip here into the two day chart? Definitely like the two day chart and specifically have a very key level right now at the 1036 level. So drawing a price level, and if we actually go ahead and look left here, you can see how relevant it was as well. We did have a very nice price defense of this overall price level in terms of support before putting in that trend high 
And in addition to that, we were actually looking at this intersecting with the 26 period on this two-day chart as well. Now, looking farther left, big point of support here in between the 12 and 26 EMAs. And then looking farther left, big point of resistance and rejection prior to setting the previous trend high, which did come in at 1628. Obviously, though, on the current setup, extremely important to be noticing that this price level also intersects the 50 period EMA, which we are getting resistance from. So not necessarily a bad sign, especially after rejecting from the previous price level and the 1080 level. So very big resistance zone up overhead, especially when we factor in these longer term exponential moving averages, which have been very resistive previously on this whole way down here. Now, if we want to zoom in further on the current setup and talk about several more support and resistance lines, effectively what we're going to be looking at are two very nice supportive lines to the downside that we've actually seen very nice bullish crosses on top of. And those levels are going to come in at 930 and 963. So as you can see, despite rejecting from 1036, we actually have plenty of support to the downside, especially if we do want to eye both the 26 and 12 period EMAs here on this two day chart. So hopefully since right now we're forming very nice support levels in between this zone from the 26 to the 50, we would love to see a nice bullish cross of the 12 and 26 period EMAs here, especially if we can confirm price maintaining support on top of that nice bullish cross. That'll be a very, very nice strong bullish signal to let us know that a lot of upside is going to be in store for the future here. Now, while we're on this two day chart, I do want to pull up technical indicators, specifically the RSI relative strength index here and talk about how if we actually zoom out and we look at where the chart was sitting back in the middle of December, that's when we were at our peak RSI. And then ever since then, it was just a pretty much continuous downtrend on this RSI, despite having prices put in several new trend highs here. So what this really highlights is that despite having a slowdown in strength, we actually put in one of the lowest lows that we've seen for RSI in this two day chart here for ICP that we've actually ever seen. So for example, we were looking at ICP RSI being down at 24.35. If we want to go ahead and put a level right at that point or just above it, and we do zoom out, you can see how only one other time besides the initial pull off and sell off we were actually at that level pretty much that happened during May of 2022. So although a couple other times we did actually see oversold conditions, we didn't see oversold conditions this low on a close for the two day chart. And so, like we said, the fact that we actually had the highest RSI we've seen rally and pull back into the lowest level or one of the lowest levels that we've actually ever seen does mean that we do have a significant bounce in store and especially on this current bounce attempt, that's exactly what we are starting to see and look at when we talk about how much we've actually rallied up here. So right now, it's not necessarily uncommon to think that we could see this RSI pullback, allow the exponential moving average for this RSI, and then have that kick off once again, as long as overall it does provide mean support for this price action, especially on the RSI here for ICP. Now, if we actually do break on top of the 1030 level where we're looking at current price level resistance based on previous price level resistance and support as well, up overhead is going to be a very big resistive point as well. And that's going to be coming in right at 1175. So once we actually do assumingly break this big resistive level after confirming support on these exponential moving averages, which does seem extremely likely in this instance too, and although we could still see a little bit more pullback, I am expecting an overall inevitable break of this level. But then at that point, we would be looking up overhead at 1175 as being an extremely strong resistance point. So you can see just how much it was extremely strong resistance for. So, so far, well, especially the point until we broke this level, it was over 122 days here. So we are looking at a substantial amount of time, about four months before finally breaking it. So being that this was such a supportive level, we only know that from a technical standpoint, it's almost extremely certain that we're going to see this level be extremely resistive once again, unless we just get an enormous amount of influx of bullish volume and an otherwise bullish sentiment spread across the rest of the crypto space, in which case we could actually see a repeat of what we saw on this upside where we just get a lot of hype and euphoria coming in. And that's what would essentially just blast through this level. Ideally, a huge blast and maintaining of this level would be one of the best cases, in my opinion, anyway, for the bulls, 
And that's pretty much what we would be looking for in the most extreme bullish scenario here. So if we do get that kind of a run that I would expect a huge topping of the current trend high right now coming in at 20.96. So overall, we're still looking at a very nice setup here for the longer term, especially after seeing over 70% pullback from the trend high. Very normal for what we're seeing across the altcoin space right now. And especially after a pretty nice recovery so far, we're looking at almost a 90% retracement and a very nice rally here. So despite a pullback here, it's still looking very nice. And so pullback extremely minimal compared to what we've seen so far. Still a lot of potential to get up to the current trend high. So from current prices, it still would be over a 110 percent gain so very nice upside especially longer term movement i think especially after such a big long sell-off here for the course of about three to four months very due for some nice sentiment to be coming in and shifting here and hopefully everyone's been very nice catching up and buying the dip here not financial advice of course but do still think right now on the medium to short long term we do have plenty of opportunity left for some visions of upside but Despite the fact that we have had a very nice couple weeks here of rally and upside, could be looking at a potential for some consolidation or even some minor pullbacks, but nothing to be fearful of just yet here on this daily chart or even on some of the longer term charts like the two day or even potentially the weekly here. But otherwise, that is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for today. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe if you have not done so just yet. Also, don't forget to drop me a note down below sharing all of your questions, comments, issues, thoughts, disagreements, all that fun stuff down below. Do love getting back to each and every one of you. That is going to wrap it up for now, though, for the show. Do appreciate all the continuous love and support, as always, does mean so much. Stay safe, take care, coin traders, and I'll catch you back in the next video.